Hey guys, so today I have my wardrobe tour slash organization video for you guys. Um, recently I've been really getting into this top though. Um, recently I've been really getting into organizing things like just organizing my room and organizing my wardrobe. Um, and a couple of, yeah, maybe like a week ago I really got into my wardrobe and just organized the crap out of it because I really needed to. Um, and I'm so happy with it now, so I thought I would film a video for you guys on how I organized it. By no means am I trying to brag about anything that I have. I've got a very, very small wardrobe, so I thought it might be handy for people who also have small wardrobes for a little bit of organization ideas. Mine is pretty much like it comes how it is, um, but there are a few things that I've done that I thought might interest you guys. But yeah, anyway, if you guys want to see how I have organized my wardrobe, then please keep watching. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, comment, request, subscribe, and like, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Now, let's get on to the wardrobe tour. So this is my wardrobe here. I'm gonna be showing you this side of the wardrobe just because that is my side, and we don't need to see the, my boyfriend's side. So this is my boyfriend's side of the wardrobe. Um, if you do wanna see that, I have done a little bit um, in one of my vlogs when I was reorganizing my wardrobe, but for today, we're only going to do my side so that's my side there closest to the wall please don't mind the mess in the background but when you open it up it is just like this so i have this like little shelf bit here which i keep all my shoes in and then i have a set of drawers down there and then on this side is just where i keep all my clothes that are hung up and then down the bottom is a few little storage containers, which I keep things in. Okay, so let's start off with the shelves first. I'm going to show you what's on these shelves. I have a little chair down here so I can stand on because I am short. So I don't keep anything up the top of my wardrobe just because I don't really have anything in mind that I need to keep up there. So we'll go down to the second shelf. And the second shelf, I just keep my higher heels so I've got like platform heels I've had these for years and I absolutely love them and then I have these ones here and those ones so these here are from the number one shoe warehouse in New Zealand I absolutely love these I got these maybe like I can't even remember probably like four years ago now um, but I've had them for ages and I absolutely love them and then the second ones here I actually bought for my 19th birthday was it my no it wasn't my 19th it was my 22nd birthday I bought these to wear on that and these are super cute they're just like a chunkier heel um, and they're from the brand lipstick and then I have these ones here which are a skinnier heel and I absolutely love these they're Steve, Steve Madden and I don't know I can't remember what I bought these for but I just really like them and fell in love with them one day they are so comfortable for like a high thin heel um, and then they have the strips around there which I really like and then coming down to the second shelf, I have more boot heels. So these are all black because I buy a lot of black shoes. So I actually got these shoes here last week. Um, I got them from Kmart. They were only $25. Um, I brought them for work because I needed some new shoes. And I wanted something with a little bit of a heel because I've already got flats for work. But flats sometimes hurt my heel, like hurt my feet. Um, so I need that little bit of heel sometimes. So I kind of fluctuate between my flat shoes and these shoes. But I love these. They were so good for $25 and I think they're absolutely beautiful and they're so comfortable. Then the next ones I have are these really chunky platform black boots and I've had these for a long time too. Um, probably like three years now but I freaking love them. I used to love the chunkier type boots. I still do but these do hurt a little bit more. I used to wear those to work all the time but yeah they do hurt a wee bit now. Um, and then I also have... These ones here, which are also Steve Madden. Oh, these ones here are from Number One Shoe Warehouse. And then these ones here are from Steve Madden. Again, the chunkiest style boot, but they're peephole. And they also have a little um, bit of lace up on them. So you can tie them up. But then I don't usually undo the laces. I just do the um, zip down. I love those ones. And then behind my boots, I keep all of my um, gym shoes or my active wear shoes. So I have... Two pairs of Yeezys, well fake Yeezys on either side. I've got the all black ones and then the nude ones. Um, I got those from Bali if you're wondering and I love them. They're super comfortable. And then I also have these ones here which are also from Bali. These are fake Nikes. And then these ones here are Adidas. I got these from the Gold Coast when I went there. They were super cheap from the Adidas outlet store. So 
yeah I got these and I'm pretty sure these are from the Stella Sport range and then down to the third shelf down I have um, just some other sort of shorter heels so these ones here are wedges and then these ones here are just like a little bit of a wedge sandal um, I used to wear these all the time I loved them um, and then I have these ones here as well I think these are both from where are these from these are from the warehouse and then these ones here are from number one shoes I believe they were my mum's but they didn't fit my mum um, so she gave them to me and then behind here I also have some knee-high boots I really like these because they have a tiny tiny heel on them and they are so comfortable unfortunately they're like a size too small for like half a size too small for me um, so they're a little bit painful when I wear them um, but I love them anyway I just can't wear them for a long time and then in the back there oh I'm missing a pair um, I keep all of my flat shoes like my sandals and flats so I usually have a pair of slides there as well but I have been using those so I don't have those there right now but yeah that's where I keep all my flats as well and then next to those I just have a pair of insoles for if I'm wearing shoes that kind of hurt me and then coming down to the next shelf here I just have makeup bags so just line those all up and then I just have a few of my chokers well they're kind of like chokers they're long chokers and then I keep my sunglasses here as well I do usually have another pair but those are in my bag and then here I just keep my pouches and my travel wallet and just wallets that I don't use so I have a Mimco one under there it's like a blue glittery one I keep it in its um little case thing because I don't want it to get dusty and then I have another Mimco pouch there that's a fake one I got from Bali you would have seen that in my Bali haul and then here I just have my travel wallet that um, my friends got me for Christmas one year I just ha and then next and then next I have my wallet um, that I actually don't use anymore just because it's too big I prefer to use my little Mimco pouch that's in my bag and then the last pouch I have here is just a little one from Bali that's covered in like shells and beads I thought that was super pretty and then and then in the back here I just keep um, over the shoulder bags that are smaller and that I don't want to display or they don't stand up very well. So I've got a Kardashian one and then that one there is one from Supri that I got when I was on the Gold Coast. It was super cheap. And then again in the back here I have a backpack and it's just like a black um, suede backpack and I got that from the Gold Coast as well. So yeah, that is all of my shelves. Now we'll get into the drawers, I think. So in the first drawer, I keep all my tops that I don't hang up. So this one here is just um, singlets. So I've got yeah, just a whole bunch of different singlets. Most of them have um, like stuff on them. So I've got those there. And then in the back there are like singlets for the gym that have got like built-in bras. And then this one here, I, this side here, I keep my... Um, Longer sleeve tops that I don't hang up. I don't have many longer sleeve tops that I don't hang up. So this one here is just like a gym crop top that has long sleeves. And then here I just keep my t-shirts. But those are currently in the wash. And in the next one down I have sweatpants. Um, these are some Everlast ones. And then there I just keep all my leggings. So with the gym leggings or just like normal leggings. I keep those ones in the middle there. And then here I have shorts and jumpsuits that I don't um, hang up. So I have this one here, which is from the from Bali. Um, you would have seen that in my Bali haul if you watched that. And then I also have a black one. And then underneath that I also have a skirt that I can't hang up just because it's too awkward to hang up. And then underneath those I have my denim shorts as well. And then the next drawer down is just pyjamas. So here I keep long pants. Um, and then this is just a like pajama bag so if I go away I like to keep that to put like underwear and stuff in and then I have a onesie a nighty and then next to that I usually keep all my shorts but again those are all in the wash so then the last drawer that I have is just my underwear drawer I'm not gonna go into detail of that because it's my underwear drawer but yeah bras underwear and anything else that's to do with underwear so yeah that's kept in there and then let's get into my sort of hang up section. I don't really know what you call this, but where I hang all my clothes. So in the first one, I've kind of done it color coordinated. So I've gone white to colors to grays to blacks. Um, and on this top one here, I like to keep like dresses, 
um, longer cardigans and um, hoodies and longer coats um, just because I like them on the top one because the other one just goes to the ground and I don't really want my dresses hanging on the ground so yeah got a whole bunch of stuff in there so white dresses and everything they're not in like top or dress order they're just in color order because I find it easier like that because I like to sort of pick my outfits by color so yeah I've got those there and then the second one here is a bunch of spare coat hangers and then I keep all of my like crop tops and normal length tops here um, and I think I also have a few like normal length cardigans as well because those don't reach the ground so yeah that's what I like and again in color order as well from white to colors to black and gray and then down here I just have two of these storage containers I got these from Kmart um, they were like four dollars each but they are perfect for what I need them for so in the first one I just keep all of my socks um, I don't have many socks because I don't really need that many socks because I live in a warmer country so if I'm not at work I'm generally wearing like open toe shoes that I don't need socks with and and then in the second one I just have all of my bikinis in there I usually hang my one pieces up just because they can be hung up but bikinis can't really be hung up so I keep all of those in that one there I just find them easier to keep in containers because I find if I have my socks and like bikinis in my underwear drawer Things just get messy, so I decided to buy little containers for them to keep them in there. And then right in the back there, I just keep my Katmandu jacket, because when I lived in Wellington, I needed that all the time, because it was super cold, but I find I don't really need it here anymore. The little purple thing there is just a um, like document holder. I just keep all like my documents and stuff that I need to keep, or that are like important in there, and also like bills and stuff. And then that little white box in the back there is my iPhone 7 um, box. And I just keep that there because it's got a whole bunch of pieces for my phone in there. So, yeah. I also forgot to mention here, I just keep this um, pearl necklace here because it's kind of hard to keep with all my other necklaces. Um, and it's not something that I really reach for, but I thought it looked really cute there. But yeah, now that is my wardrobe tour slash organization video done. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got some ideas for your wardrobe if you have a smaller wardrobe. I wish I had a little bit more of a bigger wardrobe but I'm working with what I got. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please let me know what you thought of it down below and I will see you guys in my next video.